Well, the first thing to say is, I mean, I was delighted, I think we all were, by the, the level of interest. Um, we've got tremendous entries, not only from technology companies involved, but actually significant, well-known organizations like Novartis, like TUI, like Nationwide, and Barclays, and Tesco, um, and Microsoft. So, you know, tremendous interest from really important leading organizations across the world, which I think shows the level of interest in, in the potential of wearables, not only to support the workforce and employees, but also in the way those organizations interact with their customers and improve their customer experience. So that, all, for all those reasons, I think was very, very interesting. The other aspect, I think, was just looking at innovation. Um, and it was very clear that there are, there are two levels, I think, that we're seeing in innovation in wearables. One is, perhaps if one might call it the low end, where it, effectively what we're doing is moving, or we're seeing organiz organizations moving applications that were on, previously on a phone onto a watch, like an iWatch or a Samsung Gear. Um, and so it's same functionality, it's just on the watch now rather than on a phone. Uh, but then real true innovation where the wearable is only, the device is only useful because it is on the body. And we, you can see that, I think, with the organization that won uh, the Via Opta solution from Novartis, which uh, is for visually impaired people, which provides a device that has a little haptic signal which it buzzes so they can feel it on their wrist to help them with direction finding as they're moving around their house or, or around a neighborhood. What we're seeing now is that technology is moving into the commercial world at a different price point um, in different formats that are, that are viable um, for both consumers and, and enterprises. I think there are two things that are really, uh, that define the difference. One is the persistence of the device. So if you take the Holtmolter example I gave, you'd wear it for three days, it would store all the information on it, and then you'd take it back to your dock and it would get analyzed. Um, in healthcare now, the, what's really making a difference is the ability to constantly monitor what's going on in a patient, their vital signs, their health, their heart rate, their body temperature. So you're looking to see um, critical pieces of data get access to that data and make an intervention or make a decision much closer to real time that will have much more impact on that patient's quality of life and their condition. So that's one thing, the continuity of it. The other, and it relates to that, is the fact that the, the wearable is in an ecosystem. It's, it's not useful in and of itself. It's part of a, you know, we talk about big data analytics, but again, using the healthcare example, the information becomes truly useful when it comes off the device and is incorporated into the electronic health record of that patient, which might be in the cloud or, or elsewhere, which allows then the, the medical professional working with that patient to make the right decision, not only on the basis of what they're seeing on the patient now, but in the context of everything else they know about that patient.